collage. I just like how that sounds rolling off my tongue. Collage. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the video collage designer in Power Director. If you're going to be using this tool for your videos, I want you to put hashtag collage me in the comment section below. All right, guys, I kept you waiting long enough. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every single time I upload content to YouTube. Let's get our collage on. A video collage is a patchwork of several assets which are all visible on the screen simultaneously. It's basically a combination of various video clips, pictures, or objects that's transformed into one continuous video clip. And in this video, I'm going to break down the collage game in the simple steps which will help you create some awesome videos for your peeps. As you can see, I have some clips in the media library. So to open the collage designer, I'm going to go up here to the plugin button and I'm going to left click on that. And I'm going to go down here to where it says video collage designer and I'm going to left click on that. If you didn't have the assets you wanted to use in the media library, then they will not automatically import onto this screen. What you'll need to do is you'll need to click on this import media button. When you do, it'll open up the file explorer and then you can go to your hard drive, external hard drive, whatever you have plugged in, get your assets and stick them right on in there. I'm not going to do that because mine were in the media library. So they automatically imported them into the video collage designer. Now, the next thing you want to do is choose your layout. So up here at the top, you get to choose from either all or custom or downloaded. So basically, if you pick custom, then it'll show any custom templates that you have. If you pick downloaded, it'll show any downloaded templates that you have. And if you pick all, then it'll show all of the templates that are available. Now, once you're here, you can use these arrows to scan through all the different templates. I don't like doing that. It takes forever. There's actually a button here for your video collage template library. So if you left click on that, it'll pull up a screen of all of the available templates that you have. So from here, you can go ahead and pick out whichever template you want to go ahead and use. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this one here. So I'm going to left click on it. And then I'm going to click on OK. The numbers on the templates indicate the order in which the videos will display or go through any animations based on the playback options that you select. Keep this in mind when you're placing your videos into the template. Now, if you don't give a fat donkey butt about the order of the templates, you can use the autofill button to fill in all of the frames. So if I click on this, it's going to fill in all three of the frames for me. I don't want them to show up like this. So I have to remove these clips. So there's a few different ways I can go about removing the clips from the template. When you put them in there, you can place your cursor over a template until you see uh, crosshairs. You can hold down your left mouse and you can drag it until you see a little trash bin. Once you see that little trash bin, if you let go of your left mouse, then it will disappear from the template. Or you could just right click and click on remove, which is a lot easier. You can just do that real, 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 real quick. That's real, real quick. If you want your assets to show up in a specific order or have specific placement of the assets, you can drag each clip into a frame one by one. So that's what I'm going to do. Just drag these bad boys in. Lovely. Based on the type of assets you have, you get different options when you hover over the screen. So I'm going to hover over this video clip and when I hover over it, it gives me the option to mute any audio. 
So I could just click on that and it will mute the audio in that clip. And I can also trim the video. So if I want all of these to be the same length, let's say I want them all to be nine seconds and 15 frames because that's how long this one is. So if I go here to trim, I can click on that. And you see it opens the trim tool and I can either just type in a duration that I want, which was nine seconds and 15 frames and hit enter. And now it went ahead and trimmed it off the end or I could have just put my cursor here and trimmed it either way. It's all good. Cause I'm done. I'm going to click on okay because now this has been trimmed to nine seconds and 15 frames. Now, if you have a picture, then you have an option here for your duration. So you don't really need to trim it, but you can change the duration. You can make a picture longer or shorter. So you can click on this little clock and then I can change the duration right now. It's at seven seconds. I want it to be the same as the other two. So I'm going to make it nine seconds and 15 frames. And I'm going to click on OK. And now they are all nine seconds and 15 frames, all the same length. Now, another option that you have on here for any pictures is you can go ahead and scale it up, make it bigger, or you can scale it down. Another thing that you can do for video clips or pictures or objects is you can reposition them. So let's say, I wanted this guy to be more centered. Maybe I zoomed in and then I put my cursor over the screen until I saw the crosshairs held on my left mouse and I can drag this guy right to the middle. So you can reposition things. You can do all kind of beautiful goodness. Beautiful goodness, I tell ya. <laughs> beautiful goodness, I love it. Now, another thing that I can do is I can actually reposition the frames. So if I place my cursor on any in between the frames, let's just say until I see a line with two arrows, I can hold down my left mouse and then I can actually reposition the frames and change the sizes of them. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. So you got all of those options. I can even do it down here, up and down. Okay. You get the idea. You get the picture. You get it. You got it. You're good. Okay. So now you have your options here on the left and the first option here is border. So if I click on this, you see that it took away the border, the white border around everything. So if I click on it again, I'll bring back the border and I can change the size of the border with the slider. All right? So, uh, make the border size that I want and you can change the color of the border by clicking on this here and I'm going to make my border black and then they have an interclip size. So the interclip is actually really a background that is in between all of the different clips. If you go down here to fill type, it says uniform color right now it's set to white. So I can change that to, let's say I change it to green. I clicked OK, and now you see there's green around here. And I can also have, you can see that there's still a border, right? There's still a black border. It's just that my border is kind of small. But it doesn't have to be a color. If I click on the fill type, I can change it. So let's say I wanted to have an image. I could click on that, and then it opens up the file explorer, and I can go to a location on my computer and pick an image that I want to use and click on open. And now you can see that that image that is shown here is also being used in the background. I love it. Now underneath that, we have our frame animation. So under frame animation, if you click on this drop down, you have the option to have it animate from the beginning, uh, during the closing, or you could turn the animation off. So all of these usually have an animation that it moves. These clips move into position in a certain way. And if I scrub the timeline, you can see the animation on this one, right? So you can see everything dropping into place. So that's the animation. So you could choose when the animation occurs. Now, anytime you hit play or you scrub the timeline, you want to hit stop. So that it brings it back to the mode where you can modify things. 
So I'm going to leave mine on from beginning. And then we have start clip playback. So we can start the clip playback. So that means that if any of these are videos and they're going to play, when do you want it to start playing? So I want mine to start playing when the animation starts. So they're going to start simultaneously. If you wanted to, you could pick after and then all the animation would happen. And then your friend, your videos would start to play after they all went into place. Another important one here is before or after clip playback. So if I chose to start my clip playback after the frames animate, then I can say, okay, what do I want the frames to do before they start playing? So while that animation is happening, since my clips aren't going to be playing, I got to choose something to happen. Do I want the clips to just be frozen in place? Do I want a black color board to be on the screen until all of the animation stops? You know, or do I want to restart playback after the clips have played back? So if I have a clip that's shorter than some of the other clips, then it would restart playback after it stops, right? So I'm going to choose uh, freeze the video. So I'll just leave all, everything frozen until all of the animation is done. And then we have advanced settings down here. So under advanced settings, you have your playback timing. So do you want all the clips in the collage to play at the same time? Or do you want the one that was in clip one to play first and then have a delay? Then in clip two to play second and have another delay and then clip three to play. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead. If you select delay, you can change the delay time. It could be one second. You can move it up to a hundred seconds. It doesn't matter. And then you have one after another. So what will happen on this one is the first clip in, in the number one position will play all the way to the end. Then the number two position will play and so on and so forth. And if you bring things in from the multicam designer, because you can actually use the multicam designer to uh, do a video collage as well, then you could choose this option. I'm going to leave mine at all at once. And then we have to uh, match the collage duration. So you want to match it to all the videos, the longest clip, the shortest clip, a specific clip. It's all up to you. So once you're done with all of your advanced settings, you just click on OK. And I am done. I love what I see. Uh, I could save this as a template. I could share it, but I'm just going to click on OK. So now it's in a timeline for us to be able to utilize. I can click on play and we can get a preview of it. That's real collage. That was extra collage. And there you have it, people. How to make awesome video collages with Power Director 17. Don't forget to check out more of my content to learn how to use PowerDirector. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Now, those are affiliate links, so if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use PowerDirector. You pay the same price as if you went to the site on your own and bought the software. So, if you want to help me help you, use the affiliate link. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you guys have any tutorials that you'd like us to make, I want you to go to the video description and complete our tutorial request form by using our tutorial request form link. And if you want to learn how to use Power Director, make sure that you watch more of my content to see more videos on how to use the program. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.